Hey guys, today I'm going to show you um, <clears throat> this uh, pack that I have. It's the same pack that I use for trapping, and I just want to go over it. It's my camping uh, slash deer camp um, pack here. It is made out of a trash can, if you're wondering already. Um, so we'll start over here on this side, and uh, as you see, we have a small first aid kit. And it does have a little um, pin on it, and I use them for about 30 different things. But it's got a bunch of different things in here. It's got wrist braces, all sorts of different things. Hi, Bill. It's got, um, let's see here, since that's my deer camp uh, pack, I've got a little dull grunt, well, fawn grunt. I've got um, a lantern here, a, um, I forgot what brand, but it, it's really small and it's really nice to have. Then I've got my Shawnee Tomahawk made by H&B Forge. I've got next to that a headlamp that is always on the pack itself. It's got ultra bright, medium, light setting, and it's got a red setting. So it's great for having around camp. Then I have in the front pocket just a simple flashlight along with um, all these cords that I carry for strapping uh, my tent to the top of the pack which I currently don't have on there. Then I have right here um, an extra um, little uh, emergency in cases uh, since I'm out at deer camp if I get sh uh, shot with something <clears throat> or um, I fall out of the stand anything like that something for major injuries. I open it up and I have got uh, a whole bunch of different stuff in here. I've also got mosquito and uh, all sorts of different bug uh, bite stuff. I've got non aspirin in here. I've got 1% um, silver cream in here. Um, I've got q tips, just a bunch of different stuff. Uh, to where this, this is really <clears throat> something uh, for really bad injuries. And that fits right into a binocular case. Uh, below that, I have got a pack of latex gloves for cleaning out my deer. And I have <clears throat> a package of trail markers in there too. So, if I come over here and I just pull on these cords, should come undone. Now these are the cords that I was telling you about, and this holds my tent on to the pack. And these are copper cords that are insulated, so I could use these for um, some snares if I needed to. But uh, that's just usually on the pack. So then you just take the little clip hook off, and it pops right open. And I have a two liter bottle in here that has a string so that way I can get water. Um, got my mess kit in here which includes a knife, spoon, and fork. Um, I've got a pot, a pan, a plate, and a cup in there along with a uh, pot's lid. Got this little uh, <clears throat> kind of like a sandwich refrigerator bag. Open it up here. It says AARP on it, but made with that weird insulative uh, stuff on there. And inside of there, I just carry a extra headlamp or the main headlamp that I use. Then I have my orange hat that I always take with me, my lucky hat. In a slingshot, just in case I want to. Do some small game hunting while I'm out. This is just a simple little daisy slingshot that I modified slightly. There is. I can pull it out. 
roll of toilet paper because you never know when you gotta go crap. Um, well, you may need to pack an extra roll if you're a girl. Sorry to say that, but you may need to. Especially if you're going out for three days or more. Uh, by yourself it won't be too bad, but usually it's just me and my dad. And we'll be out there for a little while. He has a pack of his own, but that's mainly with uh, uh, a blanket of his, uh, clothing, and canned goods. Then I have my 100% wool blanket. A uh, very nice wool blanket that I picked up for uh, 10 bucks after um, it has been used. And uh, it's still in really good condition. Uh, this is queen size, I believe. And then I have a straw floor mat here. This is just a luxury item. Um, it's great to have down on the floor, uh, especially if you don't have any shoes on. And uh, you walk out and you got kind of like a little porch, especially if you're tent camping. I have a little tool bag here. And this is in cases I need to repair anything, uh, repair my tent, repair my tools, repair anything that I really have. Uh, it's also my fire kit. And I have some bacterial wipes here. I've got some hand sanitizer. So that's great for around the camp chores, cleaning them, stuff like that. Got a nice little uh, clipper lighter here, mini. It's about the same size as a mini bit, just a little bit thinner. Got a mini fishing kit. Got a small file, round file with uh, electrical tape ripped around it. That's about 10 feet of electrical tape. Pencil with <clears throat> pencil with cap eraser. A bandana. A length of chain with a hook on it, which is great for strapping up a uh, little uh, hammock. Some pliers. A ferro rod. A candle. some um, a glue stick along with a little multi-tool Swiss Army multi-tool that's all just in this little uh, bag that you get with uh, little um, binders and whatnot that uh, you or your kids could get at school well for school not at school um, then I just have a little bag here that has got uh, mostly stuff for cooking, but it does have some extra toilet paper in here, military issue, that I got out of an MRE. It's got a P38, whoops, it's got uh, portable aqua water pure tabs. It's got a little baggie for that, and again, I do have the 2 liter bottle for the pure aqua tabs. It's got salt. Uh, another little bit of medical in it. So I really am covering medical a lot because you can get her a lot out there. Uh, you'd be surprised at uh, in a survival situation where a little cut on your finger could do it for you. Right here, in cases I don't uh, want to take my time. Usually in the middle of summer, I've got two 9 by 12 tarps here. Well, actually I think they're 10 by 12 tarps. They are um, camo, as you can see, and olive green on the other side. The cameraman can show you guys that. Okay. And then I have one 4x6 blue tarp. And that, again, is for on the ground, keeping me uh, insulated, insulated and off the ground. Then I just have two last things. I have a little yoga mat that I like to keep myself off the ground with. Helps me not sleeping on the ground, you know, I won't hit the sore back in the morning. I also have in here three tent stakes, plastic ones. These ones are just ones uh, that are really old by Kuhlman. They work pretty good. Real sturdy. Um, again, you know, if I need to make a tent, uh, strap down some gear, it's some bad weather. And uh, that's the whole kit there, guys. So uh, I hope you like it, and thanks, and bye.